Can I take it on Blue Canyon? This this did so good at the track, bro. Now I don't even want to get back in the charger, bro. Oh, bro, you're gonna make me trade in this cat, yeah. dog. good everybody who is louis 13 back again i am louis as you can see we got a very special vehicle in the background because you guys already know man if you're familiar with my channel then you know that i've been talking about wanting to get one of these the camaro ss1 le um so we're doing a review on this thing today man coming from a scat pack owner's perspective we got my boy brian right here but uh, you want to give them the IG? I'll, you know I'll put it on the screen and all uh, that as well. Brian underscore Luz. There it is. Yeah. And I'm going to put it on the screen. It's going to be right there for you guys to see. But he's the owner. And you see we got Manny back there too. Hey, what's up? Big Manny. <laughs> oh, yeah, go follow the YouTube and the yeah, IG and all that. My car, but go follow that we'll see it in a minute though. You guys already know if you're familiar. You've seen Manny a few times. But you guys see it, man. The Camaro SS 1LE 2019. This thing is badass, bro. So how you like it, man? How, how long have you owned it for? Um, it's been over a year now. Over a year? Yeah. It's pretty good. I, I used to have an a automatic one, but yeah. uh, I went with the stick shift one, and I'm liking the stick better. Because you had the option. You could have got the automatic for the one, at least for I this year, huh? That. You didn't no, know didn't that? Know Would that. you have gone with the automatic? No, to be honest, I think I would have gone with the stick. Got to get the yeah. stick, right? Because you guys know I got the automatic in my char in my charger. Well, that's all it comes in. But I missed that no, manual transmission. I came from a V6 stick shift, and then we went to the automatic, and yeah. then I went back to the stick back shift. Back to it. Yeah. There's nothing like it, bro. It's fun as hell, you know? But yeah, man, this thing is a beast. You guys see it. And the one indicator that it's a 1LE is the hood, right? The hood? The these guys oh they're the, different the, they're black oh okay so they're if, black if it's white blue red they're, they're always black. black the wheel yeah the wheels dope the wheels the, the blade the spoiler uh-huh and uh the i guess the, the brakes because normally they come four but right. they're six and four instead of four and four okay yeah. so there's several indicators and those wheels are fire bro yeah you don't even got to change those no they're nice those yeah. shits are fire i mean you could powder coat them or do whatever you want to them but oh and the the splinter too that came with it oh okay yeah that's hard bro the one two three the four indicators four indicators yeah. yes sir no, and the, the pdr the pdr yeah all oh, the cameras yeah, and all the that camera. Hell yeah, but you guys see it, man. This thing is a beast. Very beautiful car, if I do say so myself. Got the SS badge right there. Got the lights. Those look like, are those Euro lights? Yeah, the Euro lights. Got the, it comes like that too? Yeah, it came with the Euros. Came with the Euros. Hell yeah, that's hard. One thing I never like is the freaking muffler tips on Camaros. Oh, no, you don't. But these are different though. They're not like the other muffler. You know how like older year Camaros, they have like weird muffler tips. Like they're they're thin right here and then they come out a little. Mm. Oh, they get all big. They get all big on the end. They look a little, I don't know, I never liked that, dude. But these ones are different, I see. I don't know if that's a 1LE thing or a 2019 thing. Got the 305s in the back, right? Yeah. 305s in the back, 285 in the front. Yes. Sir. And that's stock. Yeah. Yes, sir, man, this thing is nice. Have you done anything to it yet? Uh, no, I had an oil catch cam, but I took it off because when I took it to the track, the oil cap oh. blew off, so yeah, we just took it off. But just in right case? There. Yeah. Dang, that's Other crazy. That, no, well, right, for sure, man. What's up, what's up under the hood, though? No, Let's check out the hood. What up, man? It's nice. It's nice, huh? You like that? That thing's badass. My boy over here likes it. Say what up to the YouTube, man. What's your name? Martin. Martin? You want to shout out anything out? 
Oh, no, you're good? What's your YouTube name? <laughs> Who is Louis 13? 13 with the Roman numerals. Yeah. Oh, you want me to write it down for you? But you guys see it, man. See the oil, the cash can is here, just the the hoses, the lines that took them off. Oh, yeah. okay, because it, it, yeah. it exploded on you. Yeah, V8. 6.2. Big V8. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think sir. It's the same thing as my dad's um, Chevy. Oh, yeah, what kind of Chevy he have? Uh, V8. What kind is it, a Camaro? Chevy. It's a truck. Silverado. Oh, a Silverado? Oh, okay, there you go. The single cab. Low, low life. That's right. Burning out. Burning out? Oh, when it's night, we go burn out. Oh, dang, dropping them dimes, bro. Got him. What's your dad's name? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We ain't gonna. We... That's what I'm saying, man. You dropping them dimes, bro. You gotta watch out who you're telling that. <laughs> it's all good, bro. I'm gonna get one when I get old. Are you? What, one of these? Chevy. Oh, a Silverado? You're a truck guy? That's right. <laughs> like father, like son, huh? Alright, for sure. Let's get back to this engine real quick. What about, uh, do you do anything to the intake no, or anything like that? Uh, I have the... The E85, but I need. We need the tune and everything for you know, to turn it on. It's oh, you have it set up for E85. Yeah, but you need. You the, did that yourself. No. It came like that. No, we. I bought the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. All I know it's it's the LT1 motor. Uh -huh. I mean, it's got a six-speed transmission. The LT1 uh, six-speed. 373 gears. We got the electric slip differential. Okay. The, that's right hell yeah that's dope let's hop up in the whip or let's show them the trunk space first sometimes they like to see the trunk Damn, space baby, you don't want to see the trunk right now Louis. is trunk. it, is it I, full yeah, or what full. We'll, we'll show it you ain't got no bodies in there yeah. do you as long as there's no bodies in there no, it should be all right from the shop they put everything right. in the bench oh okay but you see it's just cleaning supplies and you know, yeah yeah you got yeah. the ad is that adams right there yeah adams okay I just use it with adams. i've yeah. heard of adams bro you know what i'm saying that's right but, hey but it's not too bad I fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh I mean it's not a huge amount of trunk space, but it's not bad though. You look bigger than yours? No. Mine's a little bigger, but I got a damn minivan, bro. You guys yeah, see? Yeah, I it? got an RC car too. Traxxas? Yeah, Traxxas. There you go. Oh, uh, then my boy knows, man. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> I have 3. <laughs> got it. <he. laughs> got it. <he. laughs> oh, nice. Damn, come race him then. <laughs> Line him up. I can't too heavy. Too heavy. They're all gas. Oh shoot! All gas, no brakes. Mm, they do have. He's just looking through all the stuff, huh? <laughs> all right, we we'll close that up before you find something he ain't supposed to find. Let's hop up in here real quick. See what it looks like. Got the Alcantara and the leather. Oh, ooh! -hoo. Now I know it don't come like this. Nah. You did so that. We got this piece, we got this piece right here in the steering wheel, and then yeah. we just got the cup holder piece. Okay, you got some decorations of little yeah. vase, vases yeah, in here. little vases in here, you know? <laughs> and I want to get this piece here too. That's the final piece okay. I want to get. All Shout right. out to Esparza, you know? If Esparza didn't show me, I wouldn't have known. That's right, hooking yeah. it up with the plug and all that. Got the Alcantara shifting knob, Shifter, yeah. Alcantara steering that? wheel. Did he change that or did it just come like that? It comes like, like that. that. Got the carbon fiber. Let's hear like just a couple revs. Just because I don't know. I don't want to get them mad over there. Uh, yeah, do one in the... How many modes you got? We just got tour, sport, and track. And yes, snow and ice. So, so just do tour and track. Tour see, and track yeah, so they can see the difference. Just a couple light ones, you know? That's tour. That's stock exhaust. Sounds good. Got a little crackle pop. That's stock exhaust too, huh? Yeah, stock no exhaust. muffler delete, nothing. No, no muffler delete. Oh, okay, hell yeah. You guys see it, man? And well, let's see the backspace. Not much too bad. I know there ain't. I've heard about these. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can try to fit back there. I'm six foot. So if I could fit back there, then that's saying something. 
Oh, damn. And see, I'm gonna try to close it. Oh, hell no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll even be sitting comfortably like Bruh, you yourself. And I'm like this, look, my neck is crooked as hell up in there. Damn. Yeah, ain't no backs ain't no yeah. A lot of people say so when you drive you could probably see you're gonna see if there's any space to see in the back or yeah. yeah. But that's what it's yeah. a coupe though, man. You yeah, know? But I'm a small person so I mean I, my view space is pretty good. It's pretty honest. good. Yeah, but we'll see the difference with someone like you. Yeah, for sure. Well, I can't lie, you know, it ain't gonna work for me back here. You guys see the head and all that, see the knees. I don't think I could go very far like this, bruh. So you're gonna have to be the driver. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be the driver in one of these. But that's not what we get this car for. We get this shit because it performs and it's the coupe. Man, if you want something where that's spacious, you already see the charger. But this is something totally different. You guys see it, man? It looks real nice. Well, fuck it, should we go on a ride then or what? You want me or you want to do it? Let's, uh, if you want to let me drive the yeah, wind, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, let's get it. All right, let's hop up in here, man. See what it's like. Yes, sir, I ain't gonna lie, I'm hype. We gotta scoot the seat back a little, though. I'm hype, bro. I've been wanting to drive one of these for a long ass time. Especially the 1LE. We'll see. Sheesh. It's like a dream come true, bro. <laughs> hop up in this thing. Oh. Close this up. All right, so I'm up in here, man, and the first thing I notice is this windshield right here is small as hell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie because I got the charger like you guys know, so I'm gonna let uh, Brian drive that after this and get his reaction, bro, because you're used to this. So once you see mine, you're gonna be like, damn, this shit's big as hell. Pause. <laughs> but yeah, you got the carbon fiber right here too. SS, Alcantara wheel. Let's see. It feels a whole lot like the seats feel. Nice the seats feel good. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, they're not as comfortable as the charger, but like I said, dude, that's a fucking minivan, bro. Like, of course it better be comfortable, you know what I'm saying? First thing I notice is like this shit is way up here. So you can still ride like this though. I've heard people say you can't really ride with your arm out the window, but no. it's still comfortable. Yeah, look. Oh yeah, for you. <laughs> but I think this is why they have these here. Yeah, you got those Look. right there. But I'm comfortable right here doing this. Bro, this feels dope though, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's get it. I'm never really sad. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh, this shit's, it lets off like easy, huh? Yeah, you can, you can, you uh, can go without this. Is this, um, that's the clutch? The stock clutch? Yeah, stock clutch. Dang, that shit feels like springy at the top. It has been a while, so I drove a couple um, manual vehicles recently, but not for too long. I'm probably gonna be mad rusty. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I like that, bro. That shit's smooth, dude. Oh, what? Hell yeah. You didn't have to put the gas in. Yeah, you didn't have to put the gas. That's crazy. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna get it to like fourth. Don't yeah. just do it. Do a downshift. Oh, bro. You're gonna make me trade in the scat, yeah. dog. <laughs> this shit is too clean. Oh, bruh. It's like that would not matter. That shit's like butter, bro. What the? So pull up to you on the highway, what? <laughs> Yo, if you guys can see my face right now, bro, I got a smile from ear to ear. <laughs> I just got to get used to that, where it lets off at. I like this though, dude. I was thinking of getting a Corvette before this one, but you might've just fucking made me switch my mind up. I've never driven a Corvette, so I don't know, but this thing feels nice, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit, I didn't even notice the heads up display, dude. Oh, yeah, got the heads up display. What the hell? That's dope, dude. Damn, it's like a video game type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this car's badass, bro. Initial review, you like, you ain't even gotta wait to say it. Can I take it on Bull Canyon? Yeah. I'm not gonna go crazy yeah, or nothing, you know? 
Okay. I just want to see what it what it feels like. Just to remember, the tire is a little, a little bald. Oh yeah. Mad bald. It's your hand. What mode is it in right now? Track. Oh, it's in oh, track? Tell you where you see where oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, because I noticed the steering's a little stiff. Oh, it's real. Go to tour? Tour is loose? Yeah, you can go up. And you'll feel it. Oh, yeah. That's like mine. Mine does the same thing. Shifting is hella smooth though, dude. Yeah. That shit like goes, all you do is like, it goes right it, into place yeah, for you. Short shifter. It comes, uh, it comes short shifter. stock with yeah. the short shifter? Yeah, cause it's like real quick. That rev match. And then it helps out that it's short with the no lift shift. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, forgot about that. But you gotta be going fast to do that, huh? Uh, over 5,000 RPMs and 100% full throttle. Oh. The guy has to go all the way down. Yeah. Damn, this shit's like butter, bro. Oh yeah. And I'm going light too, yeah. bro. And this thing, this shit is just like nothing. even moving the steering wheel this is just taking these turns like nothing in my car I'd have the steering wheel way over here right now How fast do you need to get through here? faster than this I just don't want to push it because this ain't my whip you know but I go faster than this but I have to slow down a whole lot more than in this car and like I'm barely moving the wheel over here like in mine I have to move the wheel a lot more my car up a couple times right here these little bumps that rev match though bruh yeah I don't even want to try it without the rev match to be honest it's not the same yeah that shifting is so smooth bro how fast do you usually go through here I've never came in this car down here Never have? Yeah, I've only done Paris. Yeah. And then when I had the automatic, I would do what is this bull canyon? Yeah, this is bull it's canyon. Okay, I do Tepeskate. So oh, okay. How how is Tepeskate oh, compared to this? Was, let me just tell you this: the first time I, I finished, my hands were sweaty. I loved it. For real? Yeah. why this this did so good at the track bro yeah especially with that rev match sheesh this is like effortless bro effortless is it stiffer than your car or no this has yeah it's a little more stiff but honestly it does feel um it's just a whole lot better bro like the suspension everything is a whole lot better because this thing is it's to be expected, you know, this meant is for, yeah. meant for the track, bro. And this shit does not disappoint whatsoever. Every single day if I had this car, dude. Yeah, I need one of these. And then the pops on this shit. Stock. Damn, bruh. Nah, this thing's bad. I need one. It's a 
official. <laughs> I need one of these. Yeah. Damn, that rev match is just dope. Boom, there it is. Yes, sir. Thank you for letting me drive the whip, oh, yeah. bro. Hell My yeah. Pleasure. Damn, this thing's badass. So we just got back. And man, I can't I can't lie to you guys. I want one of these things even more now. For real, I want one of these things even more. Don't get me wrong, I love the Charger. But it's just, I like to do windy roads and stuff like that a lot. And this thing is made for that, dude. Yeah. Like legit. And then that rev match and the shifting, like smooth as hell. Like I said, I had a 2011 Dodge Challenger um, six-speed manual before the Charger. And man, the shifting in that was nothing compared to this, bro. Like nothing. This was just so easy. The hardest part for me was getting out of first. But after that, it's like you don't even really need manual to... Motor. Yeah, you don't even know, need to know how to drive manual too much, dude. It <laughs> makes it so easy for you yeah. just to get in between gears. This thing has a feature we didn't talk about, like you said when you're you at 5,000. Oh, you could drive it on. Yeah, bro, let's get it. Hell yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Now let's see the man himself, the owner of the vehicle. <laughs> so we're gonna see, the. what's the feature called again? NLS. NLS. No lift shift. No lift shift. So you don't even have to, you don't even have to take your foot off the gas. Yeah, just uh, clutch and, and gear. Oh, so you do have to push the clutch. Yeah. But the faster you do it, I mean, the, that I guess it's just... See, bro, I would have a hard time with that, bro. I think this little second gear would probably right. get two of them, man. Okay. So you just kept your foot on the gas. Mm -hmm. That would be hard for me to do, bro, because I'm so I have it in my head taking yeah, foot so off the gas. When I was first do it, it I'd either not have all. You know how I tell you, you have to have full, full percent? throttle. Yeah. Yeah. So if it doesn't do it, it won't read it, and it'll just redline you. Right. So it'll just go. Bah! So when you race, do you do that? The NLS. Yeah. Ever since I learned, I haven't. You've been doing it ever since, it. and you feel like it's a lot quicker. Um. I think, yeah, because we had a buddy with another Camaro, and he raced me without it, uh, and he, he went to the back, you know, or he stayed back, right. and then we did NLS versus NLS, and it was a, a closer Oh, okay, closer so you guys tested it yeah, then. Yeah, tested it. Oh, that, that's a video idea right there, oh, yeah. dude. Hell yeah, you gave me a good idea. Yeah. We back from a Scat Pack owner's perspective, a Mopar owner perspective. You guys see me over there. This thing is hella fun, bro. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I haven't drove a newer Mustang yet, so I can't comment on uh, the comparison with that. But as far as, you know, like I already told you guys, man, this thing is just hella fun. And now I just need one, bro. I need one of these. I'm gonna get one for sure. Now I gotta drive a Corvette to see if I like this more than the Corvette. But yeah, man, this thing's dope. Thank you again for letting me drive it, dog. That shit was dope. Um, and yeah, there you guys have it, man. There's my review on the 2019 Camaro SS 1SS SS, 1 LE. Dope as hell. Red calipers. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. Once again, thanks, Brian, for letting me drive the whip. That shit was fun. Um, now we're going to go do some other stuff. I'm going to let him drive my whip. And then we're probably going to go on a canyon run. And then we're going to probably get some runs and, you know, go to Mexico and see what's good. So stay tuned for all those videos because those are going to be separate videos. But as for this one, that's going to be it. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps tremendously and I appreciate it greatly. Everything that I use and recommend is in the description. So go down there in the description if you're interested in any of the stuff that I use. It's all there for you as well as my social platforms. I'll put Brian's IG up on there and you already know I'll put Manny's YouTube and IG. So go follow him because you know he'll be doing a lot of dope stuff as well. But yeah, man, that's it for this one. Who is Louis13 checking out? Salute. Catch you guys on the next one.